Hey, so on the written part, we're going to cover an attachment unit today. So we're going to cover caregiver infant interactions. So the key term, we have two key terms. The first one is reciprocity, when both the infant and the mother respond to one another's signals and want to respond. Response. And the way to remember this is that reciprocity has an I, so this stands for an interaction between two people. And the evidence to support this is Feldman, 2007, who identified that reciprocity was evident in interactions from three months of age. The strength of Feldman's study is that it's reliable because it's supported by research. So the research is supported by is um, the one the study by Meltzer and Moore. A negative is that Feldman's conclusions are not useful because they don't inform us about the purpose of reciprocity, reducing its validity. So it's better if something if you know the purpose behind something in order to understand its importance. Our second term is interaction synchrony, and this is when the mother and the infant reflect actions and emotions of the other in a synchronized manner so that their actions and emotions mirror. Think of it like a dance. When you're dancing with someone, you want your steps to be synchronized. Ev supporting evidence for this is Isabella et al.'s study where 30 mother infant pairs were observed and their degree of synchrony and the quality of their attachment was assessed. It was found that high levels of synchrony meant that the quality of the mother infant attachment was higher. A strength of Isabella Tell's study is that there are fewer confounding variables because the babies were too young to understand that they were being filmed so they couldn't really alter their behaviour or their responses. So this increases in validity. Weakness is that a small sample size of 30 mother infant pairs was reduced was used which means that it reduces representativeness and generalizability to the wider population. So in our next video we're going to look at multiple attachments but before then make sure you make notes from what we've covered today and you guys know what what rule we follow we follow the revised rest test and repeat rule. Don't follow don't forget to follow us on Instagram and I'd like to thank Canva because I used their software to create these slides. So thank you so much, Canva. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and press the bell icon for further updates. And I, I, I can't stress enough how important it is to comment because we're doing this to help you guys. So if there's anything else we can do to help you, then that will be our priority. Thank you so much.